Hello and welcome to Friday. Current time 6.35, which means hour 7? 6.30 was it? Yeah, 7. Hour 7. Um, you're probably joining us from yesterday's video. Uh, I just took a shower because they want, um, before you go into surgery, you're supposed to take a shower. That was an interesting experience. Um, I had the nurses wrap up my um, IV in what is essentially a garbage bag, plastic bag, and um, I can't really bend my arm, so I was trying to take a shower with one hand, and there's like no, you know, shampoo or anything, so it was, um, it was an interesting experience trying to get through that, but I did. And there's a special soap you have to use on the area that they're cutting, so I washed my body with one soap, and then I washed my abdomen with this special soap. And also this bed, like every few seconds, inflates the butt. And I don't know why, but it does that. So now I got a couple of nurses back in, they're gonna take this off and they're gonna start putting giving me some more fluids. And then uh I guess we'll start getting prepared for surgery. Which is gonna be a root and tooting good time. So we got another update. Um it's currently going on seven thirty. So hour almost hour eight. <laughs> Um, the, uh, since I'm in this new room, I, I had a new nurse, and they, they got me all set up with a new IV. I won't show you, because I'm sure there's some people that don't want to see it. Um, and then that nurse was getting off shift and said that I have a new nurse coming in, and they said that, you know, because I'm not, like, dying this particular moment, this second in time, there's other surgeries that they have already scheduled for this morning, and they said it probably won't be getting to my surgery until this afternoon. I don't know when, you know, this afternoon is, but, you know, it's it's like almost 7.30 now, and that could be like five hours from now. So Mal and I are exhausted because we haven't slept. Um, as a reminder, we never ate dinner yet. Um, so the last time we ate was that sushi yesterday at lunch. So we're going on almost 24 hours with no food. I had some saltines, but I know I that one saltine. I know that you're I turn the camera around a long ways because my arm don't work. I know that you're tired. Yeah. And hungry. Yeah. There's a cafeteria here, and I, it actually I think opens up in just a few minutes. Your dad's bringing me bojangles. Well, that's something I'm sure they don't have here. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay in that in that chair? Yeah, this chair's actually comfy, and I'm tiny. Okay. Well, I'm in this wonderful bed. Um, I guess I'm just gonna nap, and then at some point, in some unknown amount of time, I'll uh, be having surgery. I'm gonna go and get my appendix Stop removed. I guess. I thought I heard that voice. We're back. <laughs> we got your welcoming party. How here. you doing? I uh, I love my welcoming party. You missed half of your welcoming party. Yeah, we just left. Who was my other welcoming party? Lindsay and Dan were here. Lindsay and Dan came. Well, they did not have to do that. That's what I told them. <laughs> that was very kind of them. I said that you. Were. Sorry. How you doing? Goodness gracious. You want me to move now? I, 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 um, I presume I'm doing quite all right. I don't, um... I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs. Thank you. I don't have any recollection of going under. Yeah? I had, uh... Oh, this bed and its butt inflator. I swear to God. It's always raising my butt up. Just don't know if there's any way to stop that. They might be able to adjust it, maybe. I'm not sure. Every every few minutes, it wants to raise my butt up, <laughs> and I can't quite figure out why. I don't want some my butt up in the air. And, uh, that's. I'm thinking they call that a feature, and I call that a bug. <laughs> what you got? This is um, this is ginger ale. Kelsey got it for me. She's doing a very good job. 
He said he loves ginger ale. It makes oh, him feel like he's on a plane. It makes me feel like I'm on a plane. <laughs> Last time he had anesthesia, they gave him apple juice, and he said how much it reminded him of being at a hotel, and that as his wife, I wouldn't let him have it at home. <laughs> it's not hot Blenheim. It's it's not what now? The hot Blenheim. No, I don't think burning my esophagus is the best thing to do immediately following a surgery. I don't recall. Yeah, I woke up. I woke up and I met Kelsey. Yeah. And she did a wonderful job of giving me ginger ale. I'm sure she had more than that as a job. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure she did a great job. I just really appreciated the ginger ale. Now, my my okay. question is, how long until I'll we'll be able to? Oh. I don't know. We'll find out. I know they have more songs. Keep singing it. What the kiss song? Yeah. Y you know what? I just keep thinking of the Ramones. The bother me, the bother me, the bother me. Mal, let me tell you about Kelsey. She did such a great job. I woke up and she brought me um, ginger, ginger ale. ale. I don't know if she mentioned if apple juice was a, a option. option. I would have probably had the apple juice. I really quite enjoy the apple juice. I don't know. Oh my god. Mm. I don't know if the, sur the surgery went well because <laughs> I didn't because uh, I wasn't there. <laughs> mm. Steve, can I get that chair, the rolly one? It kind of feels like a. Can I have that chair. Oh lord. Mm. What does it feel like? Oh, it kind of feels like a raccoon died in my mouth. Thanks. You want mouthwash? I I really don't do good with mouthwash. It, I don't like I don't like it very much. I think I'm starting to get there. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, I met with your doctor. You met with my doctor? Mm-hmm. One of my doctors. Said. She's real nice. She said you did great. Oh well. She said that when you go home tonight you could even shower if you want. Because I did so great. Uh-huh. And she said that you can take the band-aids off in like two or three days or something. You just have to come see her uh, the beginning of June when we get back. The beginning of June when we get back. Uh-huh. The okay. Monday, the first Monday. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was, um, I didn't know. I didn't know when they did it. You were under anesthesia. Yeah. Man, I get, this mouth is a mess. I'll tell you. You that. had a tube down your throat. Did I have a uh -huh, tube? Uh huh. They my told throat. you that beforehand. I don't remember that. <laughs> mm, I'm starting to. I think I'm getting. Mm, I'm getting there. Oh my goodness, everything is so fuzzy. You want your glasses? Um. Yes. Can I get. The Do you want them open or closed? What does that mean? Like the the sides out or in? Folded or not folded? What? How am I going to put them on if they're folded? Because you know how to open them. I just didn't know if you were too far gone to open them. So. Here. Oh, whoa. Mm. Oh, Lord. I wasn't ready for clarity. <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> oh my god. Dad, how are you doing? Oh good. Dan. Dan Mallory told me that you and Leslie came on. We didn't need to do that. Of course we did, Pat. That was so sweet. That was so nice of you. I didn't need to do that. 
course. Well, Lindsay went and got lunch, but I, um, I went back home, got my car, and came back. Oh, man, that was so nice. Dan, I'm sorry we don't got any Pikmin recorded. <laughs> But as soon as we get, as soon as we get back home, we're gonna try and get some Pikmin. No, you're not. You're gonna sleep though. I'm in the knock <laughs> mm. Buddy. Dan, have you met, have you met Kelsey? <laughs> yeah, tell Dan about Kelsey. Kelsey gave me ginger ale. It was really nice of her, but I, I think I drank it too quick. She, I think I needed a bigger cup. Tell him about your bed with the butt thing. The stupid bed. It, it lift, keeps lifting my butt up. Why is that? I don't know. The stupid ass bed keeps taking my butt. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. It just keeps doing it. <laughs> you missed it earlier, Dan. Like two seconds ago, he was like... I don't know how my surgery went. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, buddy, your your health is more important than a few videos, okay? Well, within reason. So yeah. You, you need to sleep and get better. And well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Easy. Okay. Good. <coughs> oh, sh whoa! <laughs> that that hurt. Yeah. If you get this done, don't cough. That was rough. That sort of surgery was in my belly button. And they pull it out through the belly button. That's because you got you pretty much already got a hole there, so they just pluck it out. Oh my lord. Easy exit. Mm. Man. Well hey buddy, I'm glad your operation went well. Thanks. Oh I'm starting to Mm. I love your, uh... Your His gown. Gown there. Oh, it's nice, but I'm naked underneath, so my butt's touching the bed, and I ain't used to that because I don't sleep the man down. You don't sleep without, wait, without your underwear? No, I don't do that. That seems a little peculiar, because you get your butt crack sweat on the bed. <laughs> but I mean, you know, teach their own. Go a little bit further, I ain't gonna be able to get to this liquid. Uh, a little bit further? Yeah. Okay. Just a second. We can also move the table a little closer to you. It's on wheels. Okay. I can't get stretched up too much because I feel I got a wound in my stomach. No, I, am I gonna keep this on? Yeah. Yeah, buddy, I'm sorry. It's so nice. So what do you, what do you want to eat first, bud? Huh? You got broth and you got apple juice? Oh, they brought me apple juice. That was so kind. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. Alright, I'm you gonna... Bendy straw? I've that. never had jello in my life. I remember we talked about that. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> Not today. Like, last time we were at the grocery store. No? Okay. Do you need help opening it? Dan can open it. You said it's sugar free? Yeah. That means it ain't gonna be any good. I'll make you real jello later. You know what gelatin is? No. I'll tell you when you eat it. Oh, you made a beep. What happened? Occluded. What's PR? Patient. Side. I don't know. Are you bending your arm too much with your IV in it? Yes. Something to do with your IV. Steven? Like, that's my new meal. <laughs> Anymore, right? Like, I can have Chick fil A. It's the rest of your life. Chicken broth. Oh, you're full of it. <laughs> no, they said if you did good this and then you managed to go to the bathroom, then you can have real food. Here? Uh, hospital food. You want Chick fil A, right? Well, I just want it soon. <clears throat> and drinking out of the bowl makes me feel like I'm Goku. Do you want me to take the spoon out so you can drink it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it? I mean, I'm going to do my best. I know the consequences if I don't do my best. I'll burn myself and I'll be back in the hospital. 
Well, it's it'll be okay because you're here already. <laughs> oh, that's really good. You know, it, I'm pretty sure it's just a can of chicken broth. It reminds me of um, chicken noodle soup without anything else. When I was in college, I used to I used to lick chicken bullion cubes. <laughs> Feel, like I feel, I feel fine, but I, I'm, like my RAM, the amount of RAM I have installed is real low, and I keep, I can't. You talked about that earlier. You were saying you were a, a DB RW. Because I don't have, like I can't, like right. I don't know what happened Stop. three minutes ago. Stop shaking this. Sorry. Mm. Dan, I really appreciate you you visiting. Of course, pal. You want the jello? I mean, does anyone? Just suck it. Oh no, don't you put that in my face. Does anyone really want jello? It's... Old people like jello. Well, that seems to be the incompatibility here. But they didn't have any other options. No, they're out. Of everything, they don't sell like chicken strips. Or something. You can't, have chicken you can't strips. eat chicken strips, buddy. What are you gonna tell Mark Weir next week while you're on a trip? I just, he's got to pick up all my bags. <laughs> Cause you put you put you put so much stinking luggage in a bag. That's more than ten pounds. I ain't gonna be able to. Man, I'm not even gonna be able to probably carry my carry on. We'll take care of it. You sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll be honest, you get to the bottom of this chicken broth and it's just chicken pellets and I don't want that and the, I'll drink the tea but I, I think I'm done. Well, the apple juice is, that's real deceiving because it comes in a jello container. <laughs> oh no, it's not jello apple juice is it? No, it's apple juice. Does it have a... Do you want, do you want some apple juice? Mm. This is the worst Capri I've ever had. <laughs> I'm good to go. It's uh... Um, it's quarter four, to five? Yeah. 445. I can't do math on how long I've been here now. But I'm discharged which is good. Um, the guy pulled this thing out, they're gonna come tell me my discharge papers and what I need to do and what medicines I gotta take, but I'm gonna get my wheelchair ride out of here, go home, and try and relax a little bit. You're going home. That's where I wanna be, it's home. So that like works out pretty well. <laughs> it would be a drastic improvement. <laughs> Finally going home. And it's about 5.30, which if my math is correct, means that this whole journey started 18 hours ago. Well, to get there. You had pain before then. Well, yeah, yeah. I had pain, I had pain over 24 hours ago. Yeah. But since we were at the, the doctor, the hospital was spent 18 hours. Whew, man. My, um... My mouth is super dry, super dry. We'll get you some lozenges. And my uh, my throat's real sore because they had tubes down my throat for uh, oxygen. And uh, that's the part I can't wait for that to go away. But otherwise I'm fine. I'm, I'm in a little pain walking around. Um, so I'm just trying to take it easy. Well, easy for Stephen George do what I can, but um, looking forward to getting some real food in me, so I haven't really eaten much, and uh, trying to relax a little bit tonight. One of the one of the things, it's silly honestly, but one of the things I was looking forward to yesterday before I ended up going to the ER is that we, we're finishing up Seinfeld, like we're right at the end, we have like two two or three hour long episodes left to watch or something like that. 
and uh, that's it. And I was, I was like, oh man, we're getting to the end, and then I ended up going to the doctor, but soon we'll be able to finish up the show. And thank you for taking care of me. You're welcome. I mean, you. Don't like, you apologize again? I've apologized a lot. I kept telling Mal that I, I was sorry. I'm pretty sure the world doesn't like me releasing Mal Meeks on Saturday because it's been three paintings now. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I, I, I felt bad because, you know, Mal was finishing up her painting and had to work on the video, and then I screwed everything up by having a life threatening illness. And it's just. I'm not mad at you. I know you're not mad. It just, I just I'm frustrated by the situation, and it's slightly comical. Yeah, I just feel bad because I, I wanted everything to go smoothly as we're getting ready for this trip, and things have not really went smoothly. I'm home. I'm uh, I'm relaxing, courtesy of Mal, who has got everything all set up. We got like the ottoman over here, and got some some water and some Cheez Its. My uh, my my parents are bringing us something. You're I, I wanted Chipotle. You're getting Chipotle. You're getting something different, right? And uh, they also are picking us up lunch for tomorrow. Oh, are they really? I requested it. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's nice of them. And they also have dessert, and we also stole strawberries what from them the... from the other day. Well, that was very, very, that was very nice of them. Um, I had to, uh, I had to change one of my band-aids where they did the, the main thing. The main incision? Yeah, because, um, it was, it was just a pool of blood. And um, it was kind of a pool of blood when I was there, and we pointed it out to the nurse, and she didn't seem to really be phased by that. She was like, well, you know, if it starts seeping out of the thing and getting on your clothes, then it's an issue. And it was starting to get to that point, so I was like, I'm just going to change this. So I took that off and replaced it with a different one. And that was a lot of blood. Um, but hopefully it'll, you know, that'll be... That'll be it. When I walked in the door, um, in typical Stephen George fashion, the first thing I did was I went to the computer. I didn't have a chance to uh, schedule Morning Mario or Memorable Moments for today, so I had them uploaded. I just had to like put the metadata on them and release them, so I did. But um, there was no first 20 or, or magic duels for tonight, and that's just the way it is. All the content for tomorrow, though, is done, and it's uploaded, so I don't have to, to worry about that. It's now it's just a question of will I have fallout done for Sunday and it'll be a matter of how I feel tomorrow. Right now I do not feel very good. Um, I don't I don't feel good enough to even record a game, but also my throat hurts so stinking bad from where that, that tube was. Did that lozenge help? I think a little bit. Yeah. You're only allowed to have them every two hours. Really? Okay, special throat lozenge. So my, my objective tonight is to just really take it easy. Um and uh, I'm, I'm going to do that. So I'm just relaxing. We're going to watch TV. And uh, I'm going to get a good night's, a good long night's rest tonight. And then um, see how I feel tomorrow. Um, the, the only thing that's unfortunate is that we had been planning on going to Nikki and Austin's baby shower, which is tomorrow. And now, obviously, we are not going to be there. But we sent them a message, and obviously, you know, they understand. Um, actually, uh, Austin... Uh, uh, Austin even offered to bring Mal food at the hospital, you know. He was like, you know, I know Steven's in the, in the, um, getting the surgery done. Do you want any food? I can bring you food. So he was, um, he was really sweet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's going to be, it's going to take a little time to recover. But from what I understand, these things, you know, you recover from this operation. It's fairly minor in terms of surgery. So it should, uh. I should start feeling better pretty quick. Um, I'm just hoping that a good night's rest will do me good. And then tomorrow, if my throat's feeling well enough, then I'll try and do, um, I'll try and record Fallout. Yeah. And we still haven't recorded, like, Pikmin and Ocarina and all that <laughs> I haven't stuff. I have finished my painting. You haven't finished your painting? If I, if I can say one thing about appendicitis, I will say appendicitis is a major inconvenience. Been trying to keep the kitty off of me, but he um he crawled up here, but he's he's got his hand like near my wound, but not directly on my wound, so he's he's okay and he just really wanted to be close to me. My parents brought that Chipotle and we ate it. It was very good. 
um, and we were in the middle of watching Seinfeld, but Mal was just completely conked out. I mean, she just, she just crashed, poor thing. She's been, um, she's been, you know, as tired as I, I've been, but I've been sleeping kind of here and there in the, when I was at the hospital. Mal really hasn't been. She's had a harder time sleeping. And she's kind of been the communicator, you know, as people found out that I was in the hospital, they were talking to her. So she was up and, and talking to everybody. So now she's completely out. It's only about 8 p.m. But, um, we may actually... I mean, there ain't really a reason to stay up. I, I think we might... We might just get ready and go to bed. Um, I, I need time to rest anyway, and I don't got anything else to do tonight, so... I think we might just go to bed then. That's it for today. It's been a really wacky two days, but, um, you know, fortunately we caught the appendix thing early, um, because if it ruptures, it can be a very messy situation, it's very dangerous, it can be fatal, and, um, you can wind up in the hospital for a long time, for quite a few days, and mine was, you know, fairly quick because we caught it so early, but, uh, I will never, I will never forget being in that waiting room and uh, just screaming, you know, I was in so much pain, um, some of the worst pain of my entire life, just screaming and shaking because I, I was fevered and I had the chills, and then uh, going through that for like about 90 minutes and then just passing out because I was just exhausted from, from all of it. That was really terrible. I mean, it was really not something I ever want to have to live through again. It was really, really miserable, but... Now the appendix is gone, I'm on the road to recovery, there's still so much left to do before next week and we go to Arizona, and I gotta be honest, I don't know how much hiking I'm gonna be doing while we're in Arizona, but um, we'll just see what happens at this point, I'm just gonna take it easy and try and rest, and keep my fingers crossed everything turns out okay. That's it for today, thanks for watching, and as always, it's me back tomorrow, shall we?